Okay, so it turns both. Okay, so it turns out I've got some more time to play tonight, so let's play. Let's play our Let's Play. So, last time around, we didn't gain a lot of Madry or anything, which is fine, you know, but we collected like another 10k, and we got enough to buy this house here. So, Osher Ziggurat is now in place and ready to go. I might move some stuff out of my bank. It's not a big deal right now, but I'm just worried about the future as far as as far as uh, storage. So I just wanted to go ahead and get that. I need to put all this bread that I used back in my bank. Three thousand is what I have left. So it takes like ten bread. And so there's the key. You can name these keys. I kind of went over a little bit about the house yesterday, but... So, rename that to Ziggurat. And... Where am I at? I'm gonna need some components. I mean, not really. I could go... I could go right now. And fight some stuff. So I might throw out some motors just to try to build my cash reserves up a little bit. Since I blew through it all. Let's, uh... First, let's set up our arm and disarm. Okay, set. Let's set. Let's put these empty bottles in here. I don't need those. Let's get them a little lighter because I can only carry around so much gold. And let's go back to let's go back to the sea. You know? Feeling pretty comfortable. So we're working out. I don't know why the sound effects are so much louder this time. I wanted them a little out there, but not way as loud. So as usual, I'm saving my silver weapon, I'm not using it against its ghouls because these ghouls don't pose a challenge or threat to me. I still would really like to take out the Lich Lord, but I just don't see a scenario in which that's possible. Ooh, what's this? No. Not magic or anything, just a halberd. Not that it would matter, I guess, because I'm a mace character, but... Let's go ahead and take this guy out. So we are closing in on 90 skill, that's pretty cool. Uh, amazing skill and tactics. We've been selling the scrolls. Just because they do bring us like an extra 1k on a dungeon run. Can't go wrong with that. Still the admirable. I would like to have Majory go up a little bit more this time. Get back to our regular pace of about a whole point. With that said, let's make sure we're casting Energy Bolt. For the life of me. 
There we go. And we got a game. That works. So off to a good start. I am a little bit bored of witches, so I'm not really sure what else I can do. I've got my two immediate goals taken. You know, I got the boat, I got the house, so I'm not sure what, what next I'm really going for in particular. So I don't really need to be slaying witches right now. You know, not inherent. And I can the magic resist I get out of this. Little pain, little karma. Go and get that next bandage chimer gone. I know it's not going to be energy vortex, but I've gotten over that by now. Still the admirable. This might be about as capped out as you can get with titles from liches. Very possible. Still trying to think of ways I could take out that witch little thing. I think that would be so great to be able to do that. Even if it's just a one time thing. But I can't outside of getting an energy vortex scroll, and even one of those is no guarantee of success. Because he could dispel that thing pretty quickly. And then I'd be back to ground zero. Ooh. Of course it's not. Why would it be an energy vortex scroll? I didn't check my bandages, but I've got plenty. And I did nothing. Need to work on my eval. Meditation is almost at 30. I mean, I could probably lay off it for now. And stick to evaluating intelligence. Bad time. Yeah, I'll probably switch over to Eval, just to... Oh. Okay, no, it's just too late. Another witch. Double witch. Let's see if we can take one of these out quickly at least. Still really curious as to how much physical damage this mace would do to a Lich Lord. I don't think it would do as much as we need it to do to defeat the Lich Lord. Oh no! Gotta heal, gotta heal. Come on.
ver. I see a lot of gems on my chest. Yeah, I'd like to kill something different. Let me think. What else could I do? Now I can get away with overlords. But the problem is they're surrounded by so much junk. But I really want to do that. Man, so many liches dead already. Silver weapons where it's at. 3,000 gold already. So that should definitely be any newbie warrior's first goal is a silver weapon, if at all possible. And if you're not playing with restrictions of any kind, then you should be able to go to a vendor and buy one for a few thousand. And I mean, look, it pays itself off almost immediately. I'm so used to doing meditation that I, I keep forgetting to do evaluating intelligence on targets. There's no way we could take out the poison elemental. That would be even harder than the Lich Lord, I think, by far, because of the poison. They couldn't summon creatures to help. They wouldn't be strong enough. We could summon, like, a demon or a scroll, but I think it would just get dispelled. I don't think it would really do anything. That's kind of the situation we find ourselves in. Come on, spell games, let's go. No game. Should be able to defeat him myself before the bandage kind of goes, which it doesn't matter because I'm going to pull off anyway. Which Can't help but hope one of these days that's going to be an energy field. I'm sorry, an energy vortex. Explosion, please. Oh, another. so fast down here. So fast and dangerous. I guess it's not really dangerous, but... Can my bandages finish? So, almost back up to 10k after we sell this stuff. I don't even care what those wands are, I'm just going to sell them. I wonder if it affects the sale price being identified or not. Cody, my good boy Cody. Does I, I think it does affect it? Do I have reactive on it? No, not a room. All 
I'm going to find out, because right now it wants to give me 10 gold. So we're going to identify those wands and see if that ups, ups the price on me. Got three gate travel scrolls now. So what we could do with that... ...is we could find an NPC who's in need of an escort. What's he not buying from me? Reflection and reveal. <laughs> so that was uh, another 1,000. It's not bad. Looks like you need to go somewhere, but I guess you don't. Not your guard. Oh, there's a keyboard this time, up in the provisioner shop doing something. Emo. Emo. Emo the Fisher. Normally there's been, I mean, NPCs around here looking to be escorted, but I don't, I don't see anything right now. That's okay. We save the gate travel scrolls for a time when we can do that. We've got four of them. So these wands were worth ten gold. Let's see what they are identified. That's pretty good. So I mean, I just don't have any reason to keep the identification wand. I really don't. I have so many. I wouldn't have ever thought that would be an issue, but not early on anyway. So yeah, it does change the price you get to sell the wand for, but he only wants one of them? That's weird. I want to go to the other vendor and see if I can't get rid of the rest of the stuff. Yeah, that's weird. Just stayed there and bought components. <laughs> Cody, what you got? And then I bought pearl. Maybe I should have stayed there. Okay, there we go. Good on blood moss. I need garlic and ginseng for curing and healing. Always need mandrake root. Otherwise, I am good. I might get some shade. I'm gonna buy everything of all those. I think the only thing I need further is a little more black pearl, just to keep up with my energy bolt casting. Almost makes me want to go back to Shane because it's a more controlled environment, but it's so slow in comparison. I guess I better sell these gems too. No point carrying around a thousand gold worth of gems and then dying. So I've got 500. I don't need the torch anymore. And you can set up cell agents for this kind of stuff. It's not a big deal. So 800 worth of gems. Let's be fancy and recall back to the bank. That's, that's how elite we are now. Meditate, we can recall, we can do all kind of good stuff. So, I really need about 30 more cloth. And if I'm not going to be... If I'm not going to be fighting on dead, I should probably put my silver weapon away. What am I going to be fighting? That's a great question. How many items are in the bank? 106. So I do need to start taking some stuff out of here. Popping my robes and my stoles. I can all go to the house. Please 
can go down to level 7s. That's level 8. That's a level 8. Level 8. So all this stuff can go to the house. And that brings me down to 75 items and a much more manageable bank. That stuff can stay. The armor can stay. Eventually it might go. But I'm going to be playing more and more runes in here, and I still haven't decided if I should just buy a rune book. I probably should. Major games are just not coming. Oh, they're gone. You want to go anywhere? No, of course not. Hey, let's head to the Ziggurat. set this stuff on the ground. I don't have anything fancy right now to, to do. Oh, I used all the cloth already? It's fast. So, I guess I might put my mace away and then go find some trouble again. I might even go to Destert. Why not? Maybe get a few drakes dead, a few dragons, get killed. Let's do it, if only to mark our rune there. So let's put away our silver weapon. We don't have a rune that's going to get us closer to Destard, but we'll just have to walk. Drop a couple casts before I leave town. Check. Major is at 64, so I've still got a ways to go before I can even fizzle gain off of 7th Circle. Um, at least four more points of the display skill, not the base skill. But I need to get to here, transit. Come on, bandages barely work, what? Werewolf. It's another one of those guys. Oh, come on, snake. Leave me alone. Werewolf seems really weak, especially without any weapons. I mean, just punching. Strange. Maybe we could get evaluating intelligence up to 20 on our way to Destert. Destert should be like west, southwest of Trinsic, something like that. It's been a while since I've ran there. I know you can get there going south from Star Bray along the coast, but we're gonna go this way. I think it's a little faster. Another damn snake. I wonder if it's talking about my sword, I mean my quarter staff, or my or my arm. So important to know, because I haven't traded it out in a while, but I've really been using that silver one most. Another snake. Get it? because I'm not 100% sure, and I hate the jungle. I want to get out of it as quickly as possible. You know, speaking to that fact, Destert is not in the jungle, I don't think. I think it's in a, near a regular forest. So I think this may be... We'll see. We'll keep going. That's where the Hidden Valley is right there, or the Hidden Mage Tower. Hidden Valley Mage Tower, whatever you want to call that thing. 
We went there many episodes ago in search of scrolls. We did find a couple, but the spawn was very slow. The clown. I wonder if there's any purpose for us to really be doing this. I guess in the end the answer is why not. It seems like they dropped good gold, at the very least. We have no music. Seven, not so great. Always need to check these event NPCs because sometimes they drop silver. I think this is the Duster Mountain Chain. We'll find out in a minute. Maybe I'm wrong about it not being in. Uh... I think that's Duster. No, that's just a mining cave. There's a lot of stuff up here. I'm just going to leave the werewolf be. I don't want to deal with the water elemental or the skeleton right now. Yeah, so I think what happens is it goes a little further north along the mountains, and then eventually you get to like a regular forest, and that's where Destard is. Maybe it's another set of mountains, maybe it's this set of mountains. Uh, if I had my cloth map out, I would literally wrap Yep, there we go. See, there's the standard looking forest we're switching into. And Dester should be either this entrance or another one. This doesn't look like it. Maybe it is, though. No, okay. Didn't think so. It's. I think it's the next area. Damn, we need to... I should have bought more red potions. This is not good. Cast the uh, energy bolt here. It's more lapwing. It's going to be the target. Yeah, this is this is Dester, right? No, still not Dester. But I'm getting closer. I know what I'm talking about. Mostly. I have run across this map many, many times in my youth. It's like a second home. So I may not know exactly where it is, but I know thereabouts. Here, this is Duster. So we're going to mark a rune down the way. I always like to mark my runes a little bit distant from the action. Duster. Let's throw a magic reflect on. Armor is not going to help us here, it's just going to slow down our mana regeneration. So let's chunk it for now. That leaves us with four armor. Shouldn't have cast that energy bolt, I guess. So we're going to jump in there and cast a Blade Spirits on some drakes and see what happens. Just to change things up a little bit, get a new rune, you know, good old UO stuff. I shouldn't be fizzling on Blade Spirit anymore. Didn't think about Night Sight, glad it's already cast. Get him. Get him. What are you doing? There we go. So the drakes can't cast magic. They uh, are stuck. They're stuck fighting this thing. And I think a blade spare will pretty much take out a drake. Poison will pretty much take out a drake. Let's just see what we can accomplish.
he should be able to dispel it, but maybe he won't. We'll see. Now that we can cast Blade Spirit reliably, it's not as dangerous to be here to do this. It's just dangerous to be in general. I guess it's a hot spot. Another dragon up there. So this, this dungeon, this area in particular, Destered Level 1, is a great, great dungeon for provokers because you've got this huge open area here and it's full of dragons and drakes and those dragons and drakes can be provoked upon each other very easily. So you can see the dragon is, you know, it's not really doing much to the dragon. The poison is probably doing more than the blade spirit is. So we'll cast another one and hope that two can attack it at once. I'm not 100% sure. The other thing I like about Blade Spirit here is that I'm stuck casting this for 15 seconds. It's really nice. Okay, great. So now I've got two of them on the dragon. That one on the drake is gone. I don't think we can uh, defeat it with our stick, but we could try. Yeah, I feel like we're doing well. I mean, that's not awful. Between the poison. These should give about as much fame and karma as a lich. Dragons and drakes come in two colors, like the red you're seeing, and they also come in like a green, gray, kind of ugly color. Look, I defeated it with my stick. So they give about the same loot as a lich. Literally the same. This dragon, we're probably going to want another blade spirit on him. So this is the same kind of spawn you're going to find in wind, only wind is a lot. It is possible I could gain off of casting Fifth Circle, so that's nice, but I'm also mostly beyond. I won't be gaining much. Uh oh. So dragons can do like, I don't know, 15 to 30 damage with their claws, maybe. And they have a dragon breath that can do like 40 or 50 damage, but their dragon breath, just like the drake, is based on their percentage of health. So the higher their health percentage, the more their dragon breath does. Basically. So at full health, it might do 40 or 50 damage with their dragon breath. With this much health, they might do 10 damage. It's a huge difference. That's interesting, even though... Right. We don't really need this Blade Spirit to finish it off, it's just going to greatly expedite the situation, and then maybe we can use it to poison something else. Now, now here is where we could get a new title, because the dragon gives significantly more fame and karma than a, uh, whatever I was talking about. Liches. Wow. You know, this being this kind of spam off the screen reminds me. There was a time when you could... Adrian. When you could go into your macros and you would have cast spell, and then here you would have, say, certain power orbs, and then you'd have three lines, four lines of that, or something. I can't remember, but you could spam the power orbs off the screen and have three unrelated power orbs. For a while, that was really popular. Very popular. Just to confuse people. So we don't really have anything on us that, you know, would be bad to lose. So if we got PK down here, oh well. It is what it is. Come on, dragon, preferably. Let's 
Let's see if I can get that Drake in on it. Doesn't look like he's taking the bait. Definitely not taking the bait. Got him poisoned at least. That's not going to work. So my mana is still a little slow to the recovery, but we've pretty much got that dragon beam. Can't meditate, can't meditate. But even if it's just to see that I could do it, kind of wanted to come here and check it out. Get a couple of runes, like I said. Why not? Something a little different. It's not really going to be a fast moneymaker for me. Now, if I could cast Energy Vortex, you know, here's that word again, Energy Vortex. I could definitely do a little better. So I really want it on the Drake, but I'm going to get on the Dragon first, hopefully to poison him. I don't know why. I guess they don't dispel in this era. They're, they're, it was like that originally. Okay, at least he's poisoned. How's he doing up here? Blade Spirit's gone. There's the bandages. Come on, kick the bucket. So that other dragon jumped on the blade spirits. It's still poisoned, or at least one of them is. Oh, I got hurt bad. Get him! Get me! So I really need some way to damage this dragon. I feel like this is not going to work. Oh, terrible idea. Absolutely terrible. And he's cured, of course. Alright, well, I'll kill these two dragons and head out. I just wanted to kind of see what it was like, what I could do, what I couldn't do, and while I can do this, it's not necessarily effective to do this, breaking my rule constantly here, going down to zero mana, but I kind of want to finish them off and have it done with. They suddenly start curing once they're basically dead. Maybe it's because the blade spear is gone. I don't know. I can't remember all the details. I guess the goal of this episode, Enjoy House, is not 100% accurate. More like go out and get lost in some random thing. But you can see all those things are basically dead. It's just a matter of getting them to kick the bucket and collect the loot. Dragon should have six or seven hundred gold. That's pretty good. They can have a much better magic item than a Lich. Really? Got a Majory off that, though. We're at almost half a point. I'll take it. That's one problem with them kind of ganging up here at the entryway, is that they're going to be there every time I walk in. So he's on the break. Drake is running away. 
see if we can't get that other dragon dead. This is really the most effective use of mana. I could energy bolt him, but then I'd be out of mana, and it probably wouldn't kill him. My major is just not high enough. I don't have any avow. Oh, yeah. Sixty point eight base. Really respectable though. This is ridiculous. Okay, got it. I'll get that dragon. Let's check on that Drake. He's still doing fine, but he, he can't cure himself, so we can poison him again, and he will die. Um, anytime now, dude. Yeah, so there's the two colors of dragons. Let's see if we can get it on dragon. Got it. Uh oh. So there's all these gems. We get 678 gold. Got a lot of fame and karma. Gems are a pain to lose. And if you're into, you know, carpenter, or, I'm sorry, tailoring, they've got 20 hides and 19 meat. 19 meat is quite nice, really. The Drake's dropped him. I should have skinned the other one, but he's gone now. Drake is almost dead, but not quite. So if we go back, a lot of fame and a lot of fun. I could probably try an energy bolt. Yeah. I don't know if he died because we'll get a message about fame and fun. I don't know if this dragon's still poisoned or not, I hope so. I would assume so. But yeah, as you can see, an energy vortex, I'm sorry, a blade spirit is nothing like a uh, nowhere near as powerful as an energy vortex. He goes carrying himself. Drake has still somehow managed not to die. I got the explosion off. Got it. Man, double KO. That's awesome. No energy vortex. It's okay. I'm used to it. Yeah, they dropped 10, huh? So I can do it, you know? I can defeat dragons. That's... That's... That's something I can do. So there's tons of drakes, tons of dragons in this place. That's all Destered is, is drakes and dragons. So if you like drakes and dragons, you want to fight drakes and dragons, this is the place to go. Especially if you're a provoker, bard, that kind of thing. You're going to have great luck here. Okay, well, I'll count my blessings and come back later. So not a bad trip. Still made 2,500 gold. I've got a mysterious bow that I'd like to just see what it is. Pretty awful. It's pretty awful. I also want to check out this magic skinning knife. Butcher knife. It's pretty awful, too. Oh well. Let's put our armor back on.
We're gonna put the meat away. 49 meat. In case we have one ways cooking, something like that. How many bandages are we at? 105, I'll take 20 cloth. I guess I could use some more components, so I'll probably need 500 gold or so. Put our duster burn in here. So that's the only downside, is that we, we do need a room built. Ooh, hello. Are you You're kidding? What are you here for? There we go, intrinsic. But I don't have a intrinsic room. I'm about to make one, though. We'll take the moon gate. So this is a good way if you're a mage. So I'm going to start filling out my, uh, filling out my room book. I'm sorry, my city rooms and stuff. I'm going to get three because I'm going to need... I'm going to mark one for Trinzic and then who knows what else, right? Love them. So we'll have to go somewhere else to get components. Let's try the guy over here in the alchemy shop. But yeah, so I might end up buying a rune book. I don't, there's no other way to do it. It's not like I'm going to come across a player scrap. I kind of mentioned this conundrum before. And garlic, we need 20 root. And we really just need black pearl, so let's check this guy down here, whatever this shop is. Herbal Splendor. Pearl. Mandrake root. Mandrake root, buy a pearl. I do need a little more shade, because I have been casting some energy bolts. Got my runes, so now we're gonna go go to transit. There's no lady. There she is, now I'm stuck. There's that newbie snowing. Got a major again. Put the remainder of our gold. I don't think I have a... Well, I couldn't gate anyway, so... I mean, I could, but I'm not going to waste a scroll on getting to the Star of Ray. Okay, so we're going to walk the Trinsic. We'll see how much gold she gives us. Probably not much. Oh, I saw it. I swear they gave you up to 300 or 400 gold sometimes. A lot of times I would just take the escorting PCs, especially the nobles out of town, and kill them. Sell their clothes and sell their, their sword. But hey, you know, no killing NPCs, who would have thought? Of it? Never seen that happen. Okay, the gate's stuck. Relax for a minute here. Cast an energy bolt. Come on, change it. No more. Still kind of stuck. But it's a pretty new place, at least, for what that's worth. I really need to be evaluating intelligence. I've pretty much hit my target of 30 meditation. What am I doing? You could tell how little damage my energy bolt did to those dragons. Place. No, don't go after the Atme. What did she say? Oh, that's because I clicked on the moon gate. There's you, there's Ringo again. Here's Trinzic. So we're just going to walk... Trinsic. There's an entrance here to the southeast. And we'll get our cash and we'll call it a day. It can be dangerous going through here, so as you can see, there's some stuff here. There's an evil doctor we might come out and defeat him. Let's see if we can drag her all the way over. So there's the beach. 
and you can get into town from here. Getting a lot of meditation all of a sudden. So here she should trigger. Somewhere around here she should trigger. Thank you. Here's your cash. Love that transit music. As much as I don't like the town, I love the music. 210, not bad. So I'm going to go mark a rune here. One thing that you can do later on when you get your major to the point where you're trying to cast 7th Circle is you can go around and find these NPCs and just gate NPC after NPC after NPC. I think, if I recall correctly, on OSI, they implemented some kind of weight crime, eventually. Do not have a random at all. Do not have a room to Magencia. So there's a lot of these guys. So if you had a full room book of towns, you could very easily just kind of pick these guys up and gate them around, then you're gaining Majory for casting gate. So here's the bank. We're going to go ahead and mark the room for Trinzic here. And there's two banks in Trinzic, just like in Britain. So we'll call it Trinzic West, even though I never plan to visit Trinzic East. That's a city room, so it goes on this side. Definitely need a room book. Fold away. And I want to go back out and defeat that evil doctor. So anytime there's a, a quest, uh, I'm sorry, like an event like this, like the Halloween event, um, the NPCs could have a chance to drop silver. So, it's, I mean, I don't foresee us getting a lot of silver on this run. Oops. But it's possible we could get some. Trade value for that is about 10,000 gold. <laughs> Assuming you could find a player or two that wants to buy the silver. So let's go find that doctor. He was up here somewhere. Oh, alligator. Here we go. There he is. Lots of stuff around here, though. Oh, that one. Got a major. The uh, Moon Gate around Trinzic is probably the most hostile territory of all Moon Gate. As far as what kind of enemies are around it. So you can see he's having trouble hitting me. It's because of how much mason I have. to finish this guy off. Forty-two gold. Okay. So mental mode, the evil doctors are not worth it. Let's just recall back to the Not really in a financial position to even I guess I could afford a land book. I guess I could. But, um, yeah, I think it's been a fruitful episode. We went to Dester, you know, kind of expanded our horizons, saw what this character is capable of. Um, the highest gaining skill in this case was Resist, gained a full point. Mace fighting and tactics were a little lower than that, and Meditation was almost a full point. And we ended up gaining over half a point in Major, so it wasn't bad. As long as I'm gaining 0 0.5, I'm kind of happy. But I'd like it to be closer to one whole point. So, 64.3 and 61 phase. Moving right along. But at any rate, you know, 
thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the let's play and we'll see you on the next episode